Hello you guys, welcome to this video. So we have a new addition into the house. I found this coffee table. Oh dear. Sorry. Um, I found this coffee table on Facebook Marketplace. I don't know if you guys remember my old coffee table. I still have it. I think I might keep it. I'm not sure. I'll show you guys in a little bit, but yeah, I just felt like I wanted something a little sturdier that fit the space. Glass gets really dirty super easily and it smudges and it just like constantly looks dirty because you can also see all the dust on it. So we would have to clean the glass coffee table like every couple of days um, if we didn't want it to look super dirty and dusty. It's sort of a basic coffee table, but it's really nice and I feel like it's very, oh, but I feel like it's very timeless and it just looks like a nice coffee table. And also I think it's a better size. The other coffee table was a little bit too small for the size of the sofa. I'm still getting used to it because we just got this today. Whenever we add like new furniture pieces or do any changes to the house, I always kind of don't like it at first. So I need to give myself a few days and then I think it'll really grow on me. But so far, I like it. This is where the old coffee table is right now. It's just in front of the sleeper sofa that we have. And I really, like I think this coffee table is super cool. It just feels very, Mm, like fragile because it's being held up by these wooden dowels and it's a glass coffee table and it kind of like moves around if you hit it. While I do like this, every time I was around it or like walked around it, I felt very like on edge because the glass just feels very fragile. And also it shows like every piece of dust and like every fingerprint. I still think it is super cool and maybe we can have it here as like a second living room area, but I don't know if that's too much furniture in one room. Also, you guys look, they are tearing down the burned house and they're pretty much almost done. Um, they just started yesterday and yeah, it's like pretty much all gone. They just have to package some of that stuff up and then take it out. It's kind of crazy just to see that it's like gone now. Here we are in the bedroom upstairs. We finally got around to putting the bed frame together before the mattress was just on the floor and then the bed frame was disassembled next to it. Also, you guys might hear, I think they're like cutting something outside. This isn't our bedding set. This is just what we're using right now because we're washing our actual bedding. And then still need to put some stuff on the wall, but this bedroom is kind of coming together. There's my very large Monstera Sierrana that looks pretty nice here and it gets good sunlight. Hi, do you? Oh, do you? Wanna say hi? Say hello to the camera, do you? I think after putting this bedroom together, it just made me feel like we are more settled in now. You guys have seen like this area, this window that leads out into the balcony, but I don't think I've shown you guys this other window. I just put some of my plants that I don't really know where else to put, but I want them to have good light um, because this is a, an east facing window. And so it gets like a little bit of direct sunlight in the morning. I don't really know how I want to arrange the space. At first, I wanted it to be like a cushioned reading nook. It's like where there's a bench by the window and then there's an, a cushion with pillows and stuff. But I don't know if I want to do that anymore just because it does get pretty hot up here in the summertime. And I really like hanging out downstairs in the living room and then also outside. So I can't really imagine myself like using this area. Theo's just staring at me while I'm filming. <laughs> Look at this. Yes, Theo. <laughs> here in the dining table, or on the dining table, in the dining room, I rotated the dining table because I got a lot of like recommendations um, saying that this would be a better orientation for the table. And I definitely agree. We put curtains up. These are just curtains that I had previously at the old apartment. Um, I don't know if we'll end up just using these because they're not really very um, thick so you can still see through it at night. I feel like the dining room is coming together. I still definitely think that something on this wall would be nice. Hello, the overhauls. <laughs> They're gone for the day, I think. Look at the house. It's just completely 
gone pretty much. We are back home and we just went to a Korean market to buy stuff for hot pot tonight. But I also got Korean snacks. So when I did study abroad in South Korea, these were my favorite chips and I get them all the time. They're like a sweet corn flaky uh, corn chip. So I feel like you can't see it that well, but mm, they're just so flaky and delicious. We've never done this before, but I have a general idea. Bean curd. That sounds so not appetizing, but it looks really good. It would look so super hot. Where's your toy? Where's your toy? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I really like the coffee table. It's definitely grown on me. I think it fits the space much nicer. There's a lot more room on the coffee table too, which I didn't realize how nice that is. <laughs> sit. Yeah, sit. Sit. Get it. Good job! Good job! Good morning, you guys. I just woke up. Um, it's super, super rainy outside. Well, actually, it stopped. But it was really rainy last night. Theo's sleeping right here. He's under all these blankets. I'm trying to decide if I want this cube here with this desk lamp on top, or if I want this other floor lamp that I'm gonna switch out and show you guys. Um, also, I'm in my PJs because I just woke up. So there is the desk lamp, and now I'm gonna switch it out with the floor lamp. So what do we think? Are we team floor lamp or team desk lamp with box on the bottom? Theo and I are currently going on a walk in my PJs. I just watched this YouTube video talking about like um, how they go on walks every single day and they're trying to get like 10,000 steps in. Um, so I'm gonna try that. Yeah, we're running. <laughs> Theo's post walk, he always like scratches stuff. Oh my gosh, stop. And then he'll like roll around and scratch his back. <laughs> e, you don't bite me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we just have like a bunch of chairs out right now because we used to use these chairs for the table that was here but ever since we moved the couch here these chairs have just been like waiting to be put somewhere so we're gonna put them in the garage for now i think we're watching Guardians of the galaxy this is the weirdest theater i've ever been to there's a pool table and then we have to go down all these escalators just to get to like the theaters good morning you guys i'm making theo's food right now um so he has to eat this new diet because he is on a hypoallergenic diet because he has allergies, we think, because his eyes are always watering, which makes like these marks on his face. Um, and we think that his eyes are watering due to allergies. So our vet is having us do a hypoallergenic diet for him. Um, so it's just like dog food that's free of allergens. So his new food is like really large. Wait, it's not focusing. Can you see that? His new food is really large compared to his old food and compared to him. So what I do is I soak it in water so that way it's easy for him to eat. And then he also has these joint supplements that my vet told me to feed him too. So yeah, I put that in there for him. I'm watering my spiritus sancti right now. Um, and it is such a hassle to water this plant because it's so heavy and so big. Um, so I have to carry it outside and then I water it out here and then I let it drain for a while and then I bring it back inside. This is kind of why like I don't want my plants to size up too much so I don't really like put them in giant pots and I don't give them um, like moss poles so they can really like size up because it's just too much to deal with. <laughs> Look how pretty it looks though. Like those leaves are so nice. put all the series together and then put these shelves up. The shelves don't really match up correctly because this shelf for some reason is slightly taller and bigger than the other ones. So 
Um, I'm going to kind of create an asymmetrical thing for this one where there's this room for a lamp. Earlier we weren't going to take all of the books off, but I think it's actually just easier to do that. Um, so we're going to take it off and then put them back on. And then I'm also going to film a TikTok. And I think like a before and after with nothing on it and then all the books on it would be pretty nice. Now we pretty much have all of the books up. So now I need to put my terrarium there and then we need to put little knickknacks and stuff on these shelves. <laughs> Look. <laughs> We've had the, like, our small home decor stuff in a box, or in boxes, ever since we moved, because we just didn't know what to do with it. So, now we're finally unboxing it. I don't even know what's in here anymore. I kind of forgot. It's my Ikebana thing. It looks nice on this coffee table. Oh, it's my little guy. I forgot how much I liked him. Oh, it's my frog for my mom. <laughs> forgot about this too. This is this little like box thing that we used to put our um, Game Boy games in when we were kids. And when I went back home, no one was using it, so I just took it. I missed you guys. There's some stuffed animal things in here. Here's the little Theo. It's pretty much done, but it looks so much better when I turn all of the lights on. That looks so good. This turned out very nice. It'll look better at night. Um, right now the camera is like overexposing because it's kind of dark, but um, at night you'll be able to see the lights better. I need to water my little hanging plant. The moss is really overgrown, so I'm gonna trim this back so it can kind of like grow in nicer. And then I also need to fertilize this plant. Ever since I put it in this kokedama, I haven't fertilized it. So guys, I set this thing up like over a year ago now and I don't really water it very often. And I just take it out sometimes like this to trim it and then water it. Um, I think if I watered it more often, it would look nicer, but I mean, I'm all for low maintenance stuff. It feels like we're doing um, a day of plant care video which I haven't done in such a long time, just because I've been so focused on like house stuff. Uh, but maybe I should do one of those again soon. Don't know, we'll see. Let me know if you guys want more like dedicated just plant care videos. Um, Cause those ones are kind of fun to film and they're pretty long. And I know sometimes I enjoy like longer form YouTube videos, like 30 minutes plus. So yeah, let me know. I have no use for this right now, so I might just throw it outside in my garden. It's all sphagnum moss. Okay, it looks kind of ugly right now, but it'll look a lot nicer in like maybe a week. Chris and I, we are gonna go to K-Town to hang out with our friends from study abroad. K-Town is Koreatown in Los Angeles. Um, now we're gonna get dinner and maybe drink some soju or something. We'll see. We're Hungari. We're Hungari. We're hanging out at the park, just sitting down under a tree. It's pretty nice. Having a very chill Saturday. Theo's eating some grass. Tomorrow, we're gonna go to a flea market. Um, it's like a monthly flea market thing. And then we're also gonna go to like this home and garden tour thing that's happening. Um, so we're able to actually go inside of people's houses and then also we can see their gardens and stuff and they're gonna like close off the street and it's gonna be kind of like a block party, I think. So we are back home and I don't know if you guys know this, but I had a betta fish in this aquarium and I also had shrimp in here, but I decided that I only wanted to have one aquarium just because of all of the upkeep and the maintenance and stuff. Um, so I put my betta fish in my big aquarium 
and I never had a problem with him eating my shrimp before in this smaller one, but now that I put him in this big one, for some reason he's been eating the shrimp. And um, I found that out because one day I turned on the lights and he had a shrimp in his mouth and it was kind of sad, honestly. Um, so yeah, now I have to move him back into this aquarium, but I don't want to have two tanks. So I'll just put him in here for now and then I guess see what, see what I'll do. I also put another staghorn fern here. So I have two of them here with the Soltec lights. And I think I might like recreate my staghorn fern wall above this aquarium, um, but not have as many staghorn ferns, just like enough to fill this wall. But I think it looks pretty good so far. And I'm not sure how much this will increase the humidity, but because this is an open top aquarium, the water evaporates and then I'm assuming like slightly increases the humidity above it um, because the water does evaporate pretty quickly. So we're on our way to the flea market right now. It is the morning, it's Sunday morning. Um, yeah, let's go. I have a list of things that I'm kind of looking for um, and I've held off on purchasing it new because I kind of like, I don't know, I enjoy buying things secondhand more than I do buying new. So I was looking at rugs, but I couldn't find anything that I liked. I think flea markets are great places to find high quality, unique rugs. Um, but if you're worried about it being dirty, you could also get it professionally cleaned. Okay, so then we met up with our friends, Tyler and Vincent, here they are. And then I got this wood painted cat for $10, just because I think it would look pretty cool on a coffee table or on a shelf. Then I got this ceramic frog for my mom for Mother's Day. My mom really loves frogs, if you didn't know. I ended up being a little bit impulsive and bought this for the dining room. I'm still deciding if I like it. I'll show you guys in a future video. Then I got this cool looking plant. It's a euphorbia. Um, I'm not sure of the species though. After the flea market, we went over to the house and garden tour and we brought Theo. It was pretty cool. We were able to go into people's actual private homes and walk around. I really wanted to go because of that, because like how often do you get to go into strangers' homes? I didn't record any of the houses because there were a lot of no photography signs, so I wanted to respect that. One of the homes had catering set up with live music and that was pretty cool. After that, we painted bookmarks with pigment from Smashed Flowers. Also, I just wanted to say that Theo was so popular at this event, like everyone thought he was so cute, um, as they should. Uh, Theo, what are you doing? Theo? <laughs> okay, oh. We are back home now after going to the flea market and the like house slash garden tour thing. And I think I'm gonna end the video here. In about two days, I'm gonna go and move out my little brother from his college dorm in San Diego. So I think I might vlog that. I don't know if you guys remember my little brother. He's been in like a couple of videos. So yeah, okay. Goodbye guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Stop that deal.